Welcome back to Spirit Sherpa Minis, where we take deep dives on small subjects. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, and I am the Spirit Doctor. Today, we're going to do a more advanced topic. So if you are brand new to the spiritual world, I'm going to encourage you not to listen to this episode and instead go back to the beginning of this podcast and listen from there forward, because that will walk you through everything you need to understand in order to be able to stand in a place where this episode will make sense to you. Uh, And and I don't want you to hurt yourself. So, uh, you know, choose as you will, young young Jedi, but choose wisely. Okay. Now, with that said, today we're going to talk about healing work in multiple dimensions. And the reason I'm bringing this topic up on the podcast, uh, you know, in, in the, the spirit Sherpa world here, instead of in my private classes is because I'm seeing a lot of this and I want people to know how to get out of it. Normally this advanced of a topic I would not put out on the public airways, but uh, I'm, I've weighed the risk against the benefit and I'm putting this out because I, I don't see any other options. So here's the deal. If you have been to an Arcturian healing, you have likely been implanted. Uh, There are alien implants that come through that process. At least I'm assuming that's where they come from because the student that I had who went to the Arcturian healing got hers there. Now I've since seen somebody else who had them and that is not where he got them from, but uh, you know, I don't know. It may not have been the Arcturian healing healing class itself. I don't know, but I will say that there are there are alien implants that are out there that are in multiple dimensions, and they are insidious. They really are. They're ugly, and they the you know one of them functions to help you not notice the others. That's what the entire function of one of them is: is to not notice the others. One of them is uh, there's the other ones are designed to help you to um, they 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 make you do things differently. They 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 take away your will. They they manipulate you to do things that they want you to do rather than what you would naturally do. And so, uh, and then there's a. center one that is uh, the controller for all of them, okay? When I originally did this healing on the first person I knew who got them, uh, it took three different sessions for us to find them all because they are that obnoxious, okay? And there are five of these in total. So uh, for this particular grouping, and that's what I have found to be the case. So Uh, basically the first four exist in the third dimension where we are now, but the fifth one is up in the fifth dimension. And so when you are doing your healing work in order to clear the last one, and these are all in the brain, by the way, the, every single one of these is in the brain and Uh, But when you're going to clear the final one, and and, okay, all right, I'm hearing you ask me, okay, how do I clear the ones on this one? Okay, on this level, what you have to do is you have to go in, visualize it, see it, turn it off, click it so that the little prongs come out of the brain, and then pull it out quietly, carefully, healing everything that's left behind in it. And you have to do that for the four here. Um, and then for the fifth one, you literally have to shift your own beingness into the fifth dimension in order to be able to see it. And so what that means is that you have to just imagine yourself. Now, before I tell you how to do this, (laughs) uh, if you don't know how to find home, if you are not clear who, where your body is and who you are, please don't do this. Okay, please give this to somebody else to do because going into another dimension when you don't know where home is, is very dangerous. You can get lost. Okay, so that's the only reason I'm going to give you this is because this 
this implant thing is is wide widespread and needs to be addressed. So I'm only please, 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 if you are not clear where home is, if you cannot just immediately, even if you dissociate in one moment, if you can't immediately come home because you want to, you should not do this. Okay. That is your warning. Okay, here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to visualize yourself in your current space. And then you're going to, you know, I, I like to use my hands like this to, to be an indicator. I'm going to move back a little so I don't whack the microphone. In fact, I'm going to move the microphone. Okay. You're going to put your hands together in prayer position, and then you're going to pull them outwards towards the outside of your body. Uh, as you expand out into the fifth dimension. Do not think about the fourth dimension. You don't want to stop there. Okay, are we clear? All right. Deep breath in. And with your breath out, you've come out into the fifth dimensional space. And I've done this so that you can see what it looks like energetically. And from this place is where you will be able to see the fifth implant. And from that place, you will pull the implant out as you would any other implant. And then you have to remember to bring yourself back. Do not leave yourself in this space. It will mess you up. Okay. Are we clear? Yes. Good. Okay. So deep breath in out and then suck your energy back in to the third dimension yeah you may have to do a second round like i just had to do because i was talking while i did it and i wasn't as focused as i could have been so uh you know make sure that you're all back and solid in the third dimension, nothing of you is left there. Uh, you know, pull everything in from behind you, from above you, below you, around you, right? Everything needs to be back into the third dimension. Call it all home. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, somebody got stuck. Okay. There you go. See, I heard you. Okay. Okay. So, that's how you do it. So if you're a healer and you need, you got somebody who's doing stuff and they're like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't understand. I, this is not me. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm having weird dreams. Things are coming at me. Ah, that is probably these implants. Okay. So, uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to email me or make comments on this video and I'm happy to respond. Uh, and if you want to learn more about magic and energy and healing and, you know, all of that stuff, if, if you're having your spiritual awakening and you want to take it deeper, come and see us, uh, give us a shout and, uh, set up a discovery call with Becca to talk to her about getting into the inner peace one-on-one program. And we will talk to you about it and decide, you know, help you decide if it's a great fit for you or not. And, uh, Otherwise, you know, like, subscribe, rate. If you know a healer, please share this with them. Please share this with any healers that you know so that they have these instructions because I promise you they're seeing it and they just don't, don't know that that's the case because these things are great at hiding. And if you don't know to look for it, it's a bitch to find. So um, yeah, share it with them. Thanks. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I will talk to you next time. Have a good one.